Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to increase and decrease the value yes, of uh, keypad yes, by using uh, PLC S200 CPU 224XP and use the keypad TD400C version 2 yes basically if I press F1 it will increase the value of uh, some uh, memory it is just example yeah. for uh, the practice we can use another memory that we want example increase the buy memory increase the word memory Yes. So when I press F1, it will increase this value. Press F2, it will uh, decrease this value. And if I want to reset, I just press uh, F3. Yes, it will reset this one to zero. Okay. So let's go to uh, software step seven, microwin version 4 CV page 9 I will show how to wizard the uh, display of uh, TD 400C version 2 and connect to the PLC ok so let's go together ok uh, so first open the software step 7 micro win and then go to the tool and click the text wizard or everyone uh, want to go here you can also go to wizard tab and then click the display yes and then click next and choose the display the keypad that uh, we we use yeah and please uh, let make sure the display type and the version the actual version that uh, stick on the keypad okay so in this case I have a uh, keypad 3 uh, TD 400C version 2 so I click uh, this one and then click next and click next again and we can also choose the language that we want but right now I will use English language yes and here we can uh, change the option example we would like to use the set button we can use the default and for I would like to use the momentary I just change to momentary for F1 F2 and F3 yes and then click next and I will use the display right so no need to use the alarm so I use the display so click user menu and then click next and this one we just put the name of the screen example uh, test screen yes and then click add screen and then choose yes for add the screen here is the screen that we would like to show on the key pad display example the value or value of VW example uh, 10 equal yes or like this So here we can uh, choose the address that we want to show here by insert PLC data. So uh, here I can choose VW10, yes, and click sign or unsign integer that uh, we would like to use. Right now I will use unsign, yes, unsign, 
and then click next and next again and next again and uh, next again and click finish and click yes okay so right now we already uh, wizard the text display yes so we need to uh, call this yes to the main program yes otherwise it's not working so to call the block of display to type panel let uh, drag and drop here yes we can use both of it yes and I will use uh, SM 0.0, .0. is all way on so SM 0.0, .0. and if everyone would like to know clearly about what is the SM 0.0, .0 can click uh, please F1 and let's search here so I can search SM yeah, and then enter so you can use another SM that we want SM 0.0, .0 is always on 0 0.1 is on first scan 0 0.2 yes many many uh, SM that we can use for internal yes so I will choose always on and maybe alarm uh, no need to call yes because we not use it and here I will choose the key right F1 for increase the value F2 for decrease the value and F3 for reset the value right so uh, I can use from here example uh, I will increase so I will choose F1 yes right click on the address and then choose the select symbol and then choose F1 yes and we need to use the positive edge contact right otherwise the value will uh, count very fast if we uh, press so we need to use the positive edge and then I will use the function yes increase word yes and word is the address that we fit on the wizard yeah so vw10 this one vw10 also yes and I will use the F2 for uh, decrease right so F2 for decrease and I will use the positive edge contact also and then I will use one more function for in decrease right so DEC increase word because it is the word memory so VW10 VW10 also and one more for reset right so I will use F3 for reset so I can use like this this one we no need to use the positive edge contact because we just reset right so here I can move it yes so move it and then I will use F3 yes for reset the value of VW10 so I can move 0 to VW10 if I press it will move 0 and then reset to 0 okay so let's compile our program yes error 0 it means that no error occur and then we can download yes click download and then stop the CPU and then online yes 
okay and then let's see the HMI sorry let's see the display and click it yes so here the value is so zero for VW10 so if I press F1 it will increase right let's see it will increase step by step if we press like this it also not count because we use the positive edge yes and if I would like to decrease I just press F2 yeah. For decrease, yes. And if I would like to reset, I can press F3 to reset to zero. Yes. Again, increase again. Yes. Increase again. And reset. Okay. So we need to use the positive edge. So let me show a little bit. If we not use this contact, what happened? Yes. Maybe show. Okay, we clear first. Yes. So let me show what is different be between we use positive A and not use. So if I freeze, let's see here. Yes. The value is count very fast if we use the positive A. If we not use, sorry. And if we decrease also fast, very fast. Yes. So we need to use the positive edge contact. Yes, that's why I uh, use the positive edge. So positive edge contact, yeah, and then copy and then paste, yeah, and then download. So this is just example to show. Uh, everyone about how to link or increase and decrease the value when we use the keypad yes TD400 version 2 yes so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please kindly drop comment under my video I will reply soon and I'm also sorry if I have mistake in this video also because my English is not so good yes and I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step so in this time I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.